My name's Henry Epstein. We lived in, in Breslau, Germany. It's in eastern part of Germany. My father was an executive in a locomotive factory that made train engines. Nazis came, why he lost his job, they simply threw him out and that was it. No further ado. Pre-Holocaust days in Breslau and Germany were very good. There was a big Jewish community, quite rich Jewish community. And uh, everybody was well educated. Of course, when the Nazis came, all that changed. I myself went into elementary school for a few years, but that was all the education that I got in Germany. Of course, keep in mind, by the time I left Germany, I was about 15 years old. Life there was very tough, especially my parents. And Nazis were, of course, very anti-Semitic. My father and I were arrested by the Nazi military police were shipped to a labor camp, which was, I really don't realize the name, that today maybe didn't have a name, but near Hamburg, Germany. And my father and I were in that camp for about a year, at which time my grandmother, my father's mother, passed on at home in Breslau, Germany, and since this was still early, why the Nazis did allow us to go back home to the funeral. For some reason, unknown to this day, never went back to the camp, neither my father nor I. Up to the very last, it would have been quite possible to have arranged a peaceful and honorable settlement between Germany and Poland. But Hitler would not have it. The situation in which no word given by Germany's ruler could be trusted and no people or country could feel itself safe had become intolerable. Now, may God bless you all and may he defend the right for it is evil things that we shall be fighting against and against them I am certain that the right will prevail. I had an uncle who had a job in Shanghai had returned trip tickets to Germany and of course wasn't planning on going back to Germany after all the things that happened. Why well, he sent those tickets back to my folks. My father was able to get whatever money was available for those three. There were four people also in that family, so he used that money for buying tickets to go to Shanghai for us. There was no teenage kind of thing at all. That is something that we missed it when our own kids grew up. No, there, there was nothing like that at all. My parents just, was just enough money for a one room type of apartment. No kitchen, no bathroom. They had so-called bathrooms up on top of the roof. It was very terrible situation. Many people got sick there. They, the own, our own soldiers got sick in the Pacific, mainly from that kind of a situation. I got typhoid fever in Shanghai, but I volunteered my time for the Jewish government type of situation, emergency type of situation. And they gave me a place to sleep and a place to eat. Of course, everybody was hoping the war would end soon and the United States, Britain would win the war. In every town and hamlet across the nation, the story was the same. This was how San Francisco greeted the news. The city by the Golden Gate engulfed in a tide of joy and relief. The Japanese surrender brought jubilation unrestrained. All were shipmates on that memorable day and the Navy salute made it official. go to the United States like we had in mind. I had some papers meantime from some friend of mine who lived in New York and used those papers then to get a visa to come to the United States. It's quite a bit of adjustment because of all of the military coming back home from the wars in different places. And they were all promised their job back. 
when I had that looking when I was looking for a job it was quite a, quite a struggle. But I did learn enough accounting and business subjects, shorthand in those days, and of course English, so that I was able to get a job and able to keep it. So that's that's what happened. You can see what can go wrong during a wartime. And especially when you have something wrong like this racial type of business and that made these people so mad for no reason of any sort or kind. When I go to school, I, I tell the students, hey, you're going to forget about that. That's not going to get you anywhere. And they kind of look at you funny, but that's true. You just be healthy and everything will be okay. They have to be one, one country. Don't try to divide it.